Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and today I'd like to introduce you all to the sole living member of family at Lever Day, where all its relatives perish in the last ice age. As such, evolutionists and paleontologists recognise this species as a living fossil. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Red Pandas! Pandas are small arboreal mammals with the binomial name Aelurus fulgens, surnamed for cat like features and shining coat. The natural habitat of red pandas is temperate to subtropical deciduous and coniferous forests in the eastern Himalayas, where altitude range between 1,800 and 4,000 meters. There are two recognized subspecies of red panda Aelurus fulgens fulgens and Aelurus fulgens styani. Although the latter is mostly found in southern central China, it is typically the larger of the two subspecies and has a slightly larger skull and lighter hue of fur. Compared, its more widely distributed counterpart which dwells in Nepal, India, Bhutan, Myanmar and southwest China. Red pandas are approximately the same size as a large house cat and have a felon face and bushy tail, weighing up to 6.2 kilograms. With semi-retractable claws and an extended wrist bone which gives it greater stability, the red panda is particularly dexterous at climbing trees and grasping food. The nocturnal omnivores and preferentially feeds on leaves and a tender shoot in addition to insects, fruits and lizards. Red pandas are usually solitary by nature, only gathering in small groups in the breeding season which commences in January and lasts until April. The female gestation period is four months, after which a mother gives birth to a litter of typically four to five cubs. The cubs win at six to eight months of age and become sexually mature at 18 to 20 months, at which point they are considered adults. In the wild, red pandas have a maximum life expectancy of 8 to 12 years of age. Although red pandas do not show three levels of awareness which defines consciousness in humans, they are undeniably sentient. Like humans, the brains of red pandas contain both a complex neocortex which controls sensory perception and an amygdala which is responsible for emotional responses. Red pandas demonstrate awareness of the environment evidence in their ability to detect predators and an awareness of others exemplified by the emotional responses when members of the own species are injured. In 2014, an earthquake in the Chinese province of Yunnan caused trees to topple over in Puyo National Park, injuring a red panda. Another came across the scene and coaxed the injured one to take nourishment while continuously stroking its fur. Reminiscence of how we humans might tend to our own when injured in a traumatic accident. The red panda stayed when her friend passed away and fought against the park rangers who came to retrieve the body. This is not so different to how soldiers might stand vigil over their fallen comrades and take measures to prevent desecration of the bodies. Besides having remarkable emotional responses, red pandas also possess high levels of intelligence demonstrated in the ability to use tools to help them perform certain tasks impossible to complete on their own, for example, rubbing against trees to scratch their backs. Red pandas also produce different vocal alert signals to indicate whether a predator is nearby or ports to attack. They are even able to learn how to perform tricks and complex maneuvers as shown in the following video. Unfortunately, we can't simply ask red pandas if they have consciousness, high intelligence or emotions. Hence, we have to assume from what we have seen and learnt so far that they are indeed smart, conscious and demonstrate emotions as we do. As well as that, animals do feel pain and suffering, hence the reason for pre-medicines and anaesthetics administered to our pets before surgeries. Red pandas are currently listed on the IUCN red list as being an endangered animal species, severely threatened by extinction in the near future. The main issue that affects the survival of red pandas is poaching. Their shiny rusty coats were traditionally sought after as materials for fur hats and the tails were used to make brushes. Although poaching no longer plays a substantial role in the decline of a native population, they occasionally get caught in traps and snares intended for wild pigs and deers. Despite the community awareness projects promoted by the World Wildlife Organization and legislations against harming and injuring red pandas, there is still insufficient enforcement of wildlife conservation laws in red panda habitat. Over the past 50 years, the population size in the wild has been declined by 40% to an estimate of only 2,500 adult red pandas left in the wild. 
With the human population increasing day by day, more and more forests are being cleared for agricultural practices, destroying a natural domain of the red panda, forcing them into smaller ranges. Not only does this fragment the habitat, accelerating the isolation of natural populations, but it also limits the activity, putting them at risk of losing the genetic variants. This will be detrimental to their survival as lack of genetic variation will render them prone to diseases and vulnerable to new harmful environmental factors and selection agents. Sharing similarities with raccoons, bears, foxes and giant pandas, it is no wonder that until fairly recently, taxonomists have argued back and forth about the proper classification for the red panda. Perhaps that they have finally settled on bestowing of its very own family to share only with creatures that are now extinct is a testament to its survivability and remarkable uniqueness. Thank you.